long. This will kind of be that octagon control. They can really prevent a plant going from the front of Tin, but a really good paranoia as well being thrown in, and Mina quick to capitalize. Cute fat boy from long as well, finding that second frag as Mina continues to charge. This is a perfect execution from Equinox. They cover all the extremities. They leave nothing unchecked. And next thing you know, it is just Android in a 1v4, and we said that octagon control would have given them some, some room to work with, deny that plant, but... With just Android, this is gonna be near impossible, I'd say. Oh, there you go. This one fragger, if not, they'll draw the attention away. And Equinox, still not getting the plant down until Q Fat Boy can, can cover things up here in shower. Sights. Oh, Poach. He had the tap, but he misses out on the recon. But speaking of recon, he gets even more information. It's a two for four him, and now in comes Seb over towards U-Haul, gets a kill back. There's still one in short. The rotation goes in and teleporter. Not only that, but the B side is wide open. They have that information. Android with a kill back onto Pancakes, but the spike will be able to go down on B. It's an even 3v3. And look at the lurk and spawn as well. Cute fat boy. He's going to stop all these rotations. Does Android even have a read on this? He's got no armor after using the run at back. And cute fat boy, it should be a free kill. A jiggle peek from Android, but he's not going to find it. Ooh. Arrow theft out as well. Set will be good for the trade. This is winnable for Anvox. HP Ooh. low, at least on one, but a great recon dart. Oh, stopper available as well. You have Equinox. Anvox, this is a difficult site to take all on its own. Oh, going out to some early info. Even then, Pain Shell Grenade goes out. Wow, Forces the Aldrone to go back and Mr. Tex Serino himself. Tex. Back on a frag, that's a third, looking for a fourth. Seb, what a wide swing. Now he has a three dime for him. Seb has to go for the defuse, but might have enough time for the half. Gets the frag, still going for the defuse. Barely enough time. Seb with a 4K. Equinox barreling their way through. No early U-Haul control like they're a little bit used to. Still Seb around the corner with a frenzy. Gonna be able to get a little bit of damage. Poach finishes it off with a wand. Still has the Vandal back. Actually has a lineup for one. Oh. Still Mina around the corner with a kill on to boy. Still a two on two. Andrew with a flick. 2k for him. Tech Serena. Last person remaining in a 1v2 with only 25 seconds left. Spike is down right in front of main. And not only that, but a flank is going down over in short. Tex with a little bit of a panoramic view. Might be able to actually get that contact, but again, so much time getting crunched off the clock. He's not spotted, but he still spots the player. 10 seconds. No way that Pete goes in. Has to go for the plant. Five seconds. Four seconds. Barely not gonna get it. No time. No way. No. He's not gonna get the kill. Oh my, Tex. What was that for me? Oh no. He's not gonna shoot whatsoever. Not gonna put a dart in either of them, but they don't even see it. That is insane. What? All the info that he gets, and nobody <laughs> looks up, and it enables Poach to find a frag off the Hunter Siri. And not only that, Seb is able to get one after the Hunter Siri comes in, but here they come into the beat side, trying to shut Cute Fat Boy down, but it's the reverse. 2v3, and Equinox again somehow find a way to recover this round. And it's always this this weird game. Somehow Equinox just finds themselves control of a certain site with relative ease. Whether whether the site is completely wide open or they just boot their way on with just a singular frag or something of the sort. And box, they find themselves in yet another retake. Tex around the corner. He's gonna be that first line of contact. In fact, there's actually two over towards this short position. Tex with one. Oh, oh my! <laughs> The headshot line him. He's just taking his time no matter how many bullets are going his way. One but look at that position. Man. Seb's actually going to be able to get the rotation frag on to Mina. I mean, first of all, who in the world is going to check that? <laughs> what a position. Just like that and box, they are going to be able to get the spike down actually with a man advantage. In goes the shock dart lineup though, but it doesn't actually get any sort of damage. The long does have the L drone in his line of sights. Does get revealed, but I don't think it's any issues. The recon bolt lands a little bit far too. K-Jub waiting for an opportunity. Yay, with a flank on. He's going to be able to get himself his third of the round. And by But the, the flip side is you don't have anything towards short. Early smoke drop, but that's not going to do enough to alleviate the pressure. Keep that boy up close, holding this prey. Text in the back. Keep that boy for a second. But DXN gunned down and box. Storm their way into the B site. Is Equinox left in a 2v3 now? Oh, 1v3 and it shut down early. Good stuff from Boy. For the frag, two players as well here. Beating out some shots, but Android so Ooh. clean with these tabs. <laughs>
He's had so many of those with the Vandal, and now it's Equinox up in 2v5. This could be flawless, as it is just one. DXN doing what he can. Fling from the scene of the crime. He's a Bucky. He'll be lucky to get away with anything else. Oh, well, there you go. Is this going to be enough? Tex backs away. He'll hold the cross. Not able to get a frag. A showstopper uh -oh. from deep. Does this connect? He gets a double. Tex with three in the round. And no just like way. that, the run it back of Android. It sends him all the way back. And he's found himself alone. Android? So with a trademark frag. <laughs> Zach Cameron. We spoke of it. It's a retake cam. And now it's been spotted. But they know exactly where he is. Cute fat boy. Behind the blaze wall is Anbox. They take the site, but they don't have control of this round, I'd say. Sir, so still a player over towards. Although, like you mentioned, cute fat boy. Wasn't able to do much off the information and still goes for the white peak. Still nothing. Anbox so aggressive back over towards that main position. Knocking over a couple of players, but there's still one more domino to topple. Seb, man. Just a waving phantom getting the kill. But now, there goes the information. CFB, he's revealed. And still head on a swivel as Android. Seb, he's going to be able to get one, but there he goes. Cute fat boy right in the middle of the smoke. Going to be able to get the kill. That's still going to be the round for Equinox. It was the game of bodies in a sense. Yes, it was. Coming up with the pistols to try to get themselves an early frag. But instead, it's going to be Android with a little bit of a cleanup. Going to be able to get himself one. Flash for the security. Almost, almost a second, but it's simply not going to happen. Poach cleans it up. And that's going to be the A-site wide open. It's triple. Oh, my God. Look at that X-ray. Ye has all the information in the world. Dashes away. He could use a smoke to try to escape. And indeed, he does. Still going to be boy with a frag back. It gets so menacing to even see that. But Equinox again with the pistols. Couldn't really do much. And box. They have themselves a 10th, presumably. The extent on the front lines with the Bucky. He's going to get knocked out. By an owl drone. And uh, oh, my God. This is getting oppressed by so much. As Equinox, they still maintain. Two, oh, three split, yay. but never mind. Yay. Almost perfect timing. But Mina still on the front lines. <gasps> Has the run it back going, but what? What? How is he able to get two from that? Now Q Fat Boy here for the cleanup. 3v2. Inbox on the front lines. Trying to frag their way back into this one, but Equinox. They have themselves a prayer. Yay, just trying to hold it down. Spike is all the way on the other side of the map. The Eco is going to win out Equinox. The round, and not only that, but they have map point in their hands. I cannot pull. And Box, use every single bit of it as a four-player stack. Paranoia to clear things out that doesn't phase text. Oh, look at this position. Whatsoever. Mina goes swinging. Mina's good for one. This Hunter's Fury can't find anything. Mina. Mina's got three. The hero of the last might be the hero of this one. Only finding three, but it might have just been enough to tip the scales. Equinox in a 3v2. Spike still in possession of Anbox, but they're down a man, and they're out of vaults. Jeez, and now again. Handbox, after so much chaos, after yet another sick performance from Mina, they still have a chance. 50 seconds left. Boy making his way over that camera. All the way on A, just still trying to get that information. Boy gets this first frag, and it might be a plethora of them. It might be the Braze looking for the second, but it's not going to happen. Poach, 1v2, needs to close it out, but it's actually a crossfire back over towards main. It's so unorthodox. There's no way they would expect this, and it works out. Tex gets himself one. Q Fat Boy now behind. Oh, there you go. Behind the cage. Looking for a little bit of info, but instead waiting for the rush. Seb still takes that one. But now in comes the rotation from DXN. 3v2. Pancakes one around the corner. Remaining. Looking for the plan. 10, Ten seconds. Left. Still gonna be a kill back. One more player remaining under heaven. And just like that, yay, he has no chance. Time is gonna run out, and he's still gonna go down. After time, if I'm not mistaken, might have been a couple of milliseconds in. It's like full control of B main and Anbox. It's going to be telegraphed here. Seb, good for one, but the spike is not in rotation. They don't even have it on their backs. It's in sewers if they want to cancel. And Equinox, they've somehow dropped two players due to great shots from the sheriffs. I think Mina is going to be holding this angle with an operator. So if anyone is to cross, they'll be knowing. Still a 4v3 though, and box. Sheriff's in their hands and they're trying to convert here with a no Viper wall in heaven as well, something to note.
still very slow again. Coming from Anbox, but this time they don't have to worry about what would be that back lurk. They did a good job taking advantage of what was early aggression from Equinox. And now they have control of sights. The armory or the firepower might not be the most optimal, but they still have a chance. Mina trying to find an early frag over towards Elbow if anyone actually wants to go for oh. the peak. Tax Arena with an instant punishment of that off angle from Seb. That's massive, but there's still two players over towards that angle, and they're going to wide swing at the same time. Yay! Massive one, Deke. And boy, does the exact same thing. And Box, they're going to be able to snag themselves around. Mina is out of there. No chance at Antbox. They flipped it again. An eco round. Sheriffs are what get it done. Punishing Equinox, getting aggressive, taking very early swings. That's not something we see. Equinox are normally very good about picking the points where they want to get aggressive. We saw Tex getting straight into B main, getting all that control. But Equinox over in heaven. Although there's two players in that area. Pancakes with a plethora of smokes in his way. He's just going to bank his way right through it. Still takes a chunk of his armor. He's trying to make his way through the cloud. And Anbox, instead of playing mostly on site, trying to play crossfire, they have two back in ramp and one in hell just waiting for the cross. Again, this is massive Ooh. for them. And even then, oh, yay, what in the world is that position? He sneaks on by the showstopper. And he's still... Players actually pop off a little bit. What's up, Mina? Still has a stinger up. Gets a little bit of information through the wire. Not going to be able to get more than one, though. Inbox banking their way through Cytex Arena with a little bit of an early rotation and gonna get exposed by Ye. Second kill by him too. Ten seconds left. He has really come out on his own throughout this game thus far. We're only six rounds in. Still pancakes in the front lines. He has himself a vandal headshot through the wall. Could have been a little bit more dangerous, but he's still going forward. Oh. Gonna be able to get one. Oh, the 180. And kicks a little bit flicky today, but even then it's gonna be Anbox with a They have the Viper Ultimate ready as well. But right now it's good for Equinox. Jeez. Mina finds a frag, backs away. Ye doubles down on the side of Anbox to finally get one for his team. But right now, Equinox, they still have possession of that site, that Viper wall. Nobody's moving from Anbox. Anbox has full control. Although they don't actually know what the coverage is going to be like over towards heaven. But oh man, Seb with an early pop over towards heaven. Still going to be able to get one. Android around the corner with one. It's going to be the Util from Tex. But even then, the ulti's up. It's very <gasps> detrimental for Tex. Look around, turn around. No, 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 Tex, Tex, no. He's still going to be able to get a kill anyways. He's not a 1 HP. But how didn't he spot out? How didn't he spot out? Yeah, but he still gets the kill. How? And this Viper Wall, it seems that wherever the Viper Wall goes, the rest of Anbox will go as well. Quick leap on in. Paranoia gets nothing as Tex holds an off angle, but it's a showstopper! <laughs> He's got two! Yo. Just like that, Equinox. That might have been the closure in this one, but it's still a 2-1-2, two -two, and there's even a Rolling Thunder available for Ye. The spike down in a cubby, though, and there's that Rolling Thunder. Is it going to be enough, though? Tex sitting and waiting. DXN swings. And now, Tex, 1v1. Yay, Whoa. picks up the spike, and it's just a mind game. Talk about brain wrinkles, Gus. This one will knock a few more off. Yeah, no, my, my brain issues at this point. Yay, still waiting. <laughs> Trying to see if oh. there's going to be a rotation back, and there you go. Shuts it down early. Yeah. Some cheeky improvisation off the ultimate, and I could have actually dragged out a little bit of information over towards the B side, them just getting a little bit paranoid, seeing if there's anything there. It's gonna be a five on five, it's beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. Pancakes with a quick scope, gonna be able to take down Poach. Not only that, but the paranoia is actually gonna be able to take down the corner, and oh, the rolling thunder, it's all too effective. DX and Amina combined, still one more player remaining. It's Ye now in a 1v4, trying to make his way through the smoke. Mina just waving the vandal. Willy nilly, just trying to see if there are four or five players grouped up now. Paranoia in. Poach can't see a thing. He's being gunned down, spattered. Oh, so many shots and no kills for Anbox. Android able to collect one of the paint shells, but it is a 3v3 with him sitting in the back as he goes down, Gus. Spike as well should be going down in a 3v2. One enemy remaining. Equinox still has the crossfire and it's wow. all too efficient. 
They go for the wide swing too, the double swing. Find delay as best he can, but Flash is making easy push through. Tex, so good at creating space, is looking for a little bit more. Spike on his back, he wants a frag first, and he does get that. Spike will go down here after, and Anbox, 5v3 now. And box probably the most pivotal part of the round is just the very beginning if they even want to get some damage in so at this point it's uh the bygone there's no equinox they have more than enough space to actually work with and oh okay they're actually going to overwhelm the player under heaven and android with a couple it's a lot of issues he's actually gonna try and push and take a fight showstopper from long range connects cute fat boy with that instant trade though seb sitting in the back gets one off his frenzy to give anbox at least the lead in terms of manpower but there's a late lurk tex he's the one coming on this flank and he can change the tides of this round absolutely but they're still staying more or less wary towards that position seconds. yeah no they absolutely do boy's gonna be able to get the wow. kill on to tax and po but equinox is split between main and heaven oh paranoia as well for oh. pancakes from pancakes to clear out anyone under heaven i understand your hose a nice little one way boy it covers even the heavens as well so it works in both fashions showstopper doesn't make much and boy makes nothing Jeez. into something clean stuff from boy and it puts tax to use that showstopper to no use a 1v3 hp low at least on yay but i don't think that's much of a silver lining because now he's been spotted it'll be flushed out here in a second boomba available and nothing else to his name as he's gonna get gunned down eight to nine and box the rounds to ecos where i think we've seen four ecos thus far in these last two maps and uh android is about to get taken okay. down off the white swing very off times but yay still up in heaven gonna be able to get the white swing onto pancakes just the trade in general Three players in mid just waiting up for a little bit of a peek, but Anbox, they do need to get a little bit more discipline. They have the control. They might as well use it. Is now... Yeah, he's in a little bit of a weird position. Tex, he's been winning out these interactions consistently, but this fault line could be able to catch him unless Tex what is this gets positioning? a little bit farther What is this in positioning? The... Yeah, he's just getting farther and farther with the fault line. <laughs> It's almost like it's almost like he went AFK and his just his S exactly button is just held down. He's just going backwards and backwards off the fault line. And it just did not work. Poach now off the return. Off the rotate. It's a three on two, Sully. That is hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, he just backing up, backing up, backing up, and now it's Anbox who are on the back foot. Two versus three. They know where two of them are. That's going to be a perfect snake bite, but that's not going to last too long. That doesn't even do enough damage for them. So Poach needs to take the fight, needs to win it, but DXN's got the better of him. Seb, good for a trade back. He even doubles down. It's down to Tex. 1v1. We all know how good Tex is. Great satchel to try and keep him at bay, but Tex, is he willing to take this fight? Spike has been tapped in oh! the welcoming arm. Seb is the clutch master. Just enough time as well in the 1v3. 10 to 9 and box when they need it most have called upon. Whoever gets the brace of rounds is essentially going to win this one out, but this is Poach's setup from just a few rounds ago. Now he's going to pull it off. No. With no. The ulti. no. He works for two. Beautifully done by Poach, and not only that, but he does a plethora of damage onto Pancakes. Wonderful. 4v3 now for Anbox. And again, Poach's util, it really has not come into play almost at all in this game. Finally, we see a round where the Viper comes in strong. The defense, yeah, it, it's been quite a quiet start. I mean, the wall was so useful on the attack, but on the defense, it hasn't really come into great effect. But when you get that ult up, it is a monster, especially with the wall as well, doing so much extra damage as they walk through to decay. Snake bite as well, making them vulnerable. I mean, Poach does a great job. They're getting full control. Takes two down before he falls. Doesn't get better than that. And now if you're in a box, you're feeling comfortable. 40 seconds left. Equinox are really yet to make a move. You've got one player chilling around mailbox, but that cam, as soon as any noise is made, Cam's gonna go up, they'll get the info, and Anbox... 30 seconds left. Never like to speak in absolutes, but this should already be the round. Android, well-timed. Cam, catching two, spotting two. Finally gonna get broken down, a seven quick rotation, a beautiful Whoa. flash. That's gonna be a swing. Where is the swing? They hold it together, yay, and Android on the site. 11 to 10, Anbox. You get yeah. the map three.
But solely, oh no, oh no, Equinox is already getting pressured here. So fast, and box. They've had to back away. The snake bite's not going to be enough. A lot of presence into heaven, but Pancakes out of such a risky maneuver. Gets punished for it. Tex is good at least for one trade, but it all falls onto the shoulders of cute fat boy. It's a lot of pressure. As he done his calf raises in the gym, we'll have to see. He waits around. Neural Theft, he's got to make a move, but he gets gunned down by Ye. It's all crumbling apart. Equinox in a four versus two. Boomba goes down. Nothing off of it. And it's Android, Android. to light up and box in the second map. It's 13 to 10. And Since they don't exactly set up towards that B site. Instead, they leave Seb here all alone. Puts up a cage in that back line. Looking for that first approach. Going to be able to take down Tex. Still cute fat boy through, through the cage. B hopping on in. Still going to be able to get the frag four on three. Pancakes gets one back through the smoke. And box, they have more or less control of courtyard, but there's still one in the back of sight. And it's cute fat boy all alone. Two players in B main just trying to hold things back. But it's just going to be cute fat boy. 25 HP. Best thing this man can do with it is actually just get this spike down. A little bit more cash on the bank, but it's a cautious round now from here on out from Equinox. Oh, yay. Still going to be able to get an initial pick. Want to text, but not more than that. Still three players. Back for Equinox, trying to make their way. Back over towards the left side of mid. Don't really know if they actually want to go into B main. Nice smoke up and cat. That's going to be able to cover up their mid approach. Here. If anything, it's a split. They have a cam up. A little bit of information down in B main. See if anyone's actually going to peek it out. And box slowly but surely actually rotating their way back in. It is even. With Ye actually watching the cross from mid. Don't really know if there's going to be a smoke up either. It would be efficient and it would be safe. I think he's waiting for the charge to come 30 back. 30 seconds left. Yeah, two seconds. Smoke will go down. Going down. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Good call. That's now. Equinox, they do have their way at least into market. Just about 15 seconds left. Oh, and now in they go. Yay, beautiful flick. Gonna be able to tag down one. Ooh, trying to find a second, but it's simply not gonna happen. Android takes down Pancakes. Still trying to hold down the back line. Spike finally going down. And yay, he pulls out the knives. Two more for... If he can get a frag and dismiss onto the site, this could be a big issue for Anbox, but they're playing it cautiously. No one on the middle of site. Tex shouldn't be able to get a free kill. One drops down. It actually could be a free kill, but yay. He is so, so aware. Great trades back from boy. Well, Mina finds two back. It is still a man advantage red box in the 3v2. You know, with a great angle, though. A little bit of a fake earlier on, Sue. Oh, instantly takes away the Eldrum. A little bit like a clay pigeon. And not only that, but the spike still has not gone down. They had the position for it, but they're still not safe with it. 38 seconds Ooh. left. Now in comes the oh, drop. No. Pancakes with nothing but a stinger has to hold this down. Don't really know what the very crucial in the post plan. There you go, a little bit extra information. The neural network is up. So a three on three with Equinox. Their first time in a long time with true control of sight. But Android just makes his way in with the run it back. No return frag. And instead, it's just going to be a walled scene, but watch out, the uh -oh. Empress is here! Tex is going to be able to get himself a third- At all. Ye's not going to be noticed, he won't be spotted at all. No trade yet. Flash goes out, then Ye's oh, still good man. for a second. Can he find the third? No! DXN finally able to take him down, but even then, he's done his job, and the site, it's being taken here, but boy sits in the back. Boy, just chilling in the smoke. Waiting for any sort of approach, but it's going to be Pancakes. Actually, with a teleport back towards B. He doesn't have the spike, though. He's trying to make space for his team. 40 seconds left. He did spot at least the arm of someone. Not able to get any damage off the wall bangs. But it's enough time for his teammates left. to actually rotate back on. Wall time smoke, too. That's going to allow his teammates to make their way out of B main. Be about it, right? Because now and box this 4v3, they're just trying oh. to find time. Spike still going down. Poach trying to find oh. the lineup, and he finds it, but he takes too long. Equinox 
still in the fight. A man down, but certainly not out. They have the crossfire set up. Three men trying to make their way. Oh no. Q Fat Boy. Main, but oh, Q Fat Boy through the wall. He's going to go down to 37 HP. He's going to be at the front lines of the interaction trying to find Android, but it's not going to happen. Pancake still in the back lines. One, no. No more than one. Equinox, they go down and box. He's not going to get cleared out. To the knowledge of Equinox, that cubby is clean. Cleaned out, swept out, but it's not. Where's the shot? Where are the ults? Mina with a run it back, charging on in. There's an even an Empress down towards mid, and Ye's been spun back around. Whoa. Mina getting aggressive, and oh, it'll cost Ye. Ye's life. 3v4 as Android looks to try him on back, and he's only good for one so far. There are three no players remaining, jumping into the site. He knows that there's one here, three bolts in the mag. Sent all the way back to commence the retake. Hunter Siri available now for Equinox. It's not looking too good if you are Anbox. Android and Poach still trying to make their way on. Beautiful Hunter Fury. And not only that, oh, but the no. delay to get even more in the wall banks. Jeez, DXN. Take flight. No kills, but a whole lot of damage being done. In comes the actual approach, though. Through the floorboards. Poach just trying to get this frag back. Simply not going to happen. Tex takes one back. Seb on the front lines. Trades back. Seb. Oh, man. There you go. 1v1. Poach. Plays ring around the rosy. There's a smoke up. It's about to dissipate. But even then, the wide swing goes in for pancakes. Three kills for him on the round. And he drags Equinox. I bet they do get the ult orb a little bit early on. But, all right. Hello, yay? Going to be able to get an early kill onto DXN. There's still one over towards stairs. In goes the tripwire that Ye just walks on through, and this is possible. The Cypher in the back, though. Q Fatboy could go absolutely massive, but he gets flashed out, and Anbox actually has a two-man advantage. Well, I said things have been more or less stable, but now Anbox starting to make their way through. In comes Pancakes in short. Going to be able to get one back on Boy. Not only that, but a double flash towards that position, making a triple at this point. All three players stuck in that back line, but it's actually Poach in such a good off angle. Seb Pancakes, both with Frenzies, I believe. And Seb? Well, that's a little awkward for Q-Fat Boy. <laughs> Maybe once the gun. Cage goes up, so that works in his advantage, and he sits in the cage. He's not going to expect this. Two right clicks, gets the frag. It takes a little bit extra, but still. Info revealed in Mina! A double swing oh, without frenzy. Oh, that is unbelievable. It's now down to just two. Just like that Equinox. They might just pull out a seventh <laughs> eco out in this game. 30 seconds left. Are you kidding me? All right. Nina never ceases to surprise us. Ah, uh, <laughs> no way he gets. Oh, okay. my no for it. No for it. Oh, Mina, you legend. Last person remaining, Poach in a 1v3. Barely enough time to make his way on site, if any time at all. There's still one in the back of sight. He's going to run right into that crosshair. Nine. Thankfully, he doesn't. Yay. Watching the smoke. Allows him to get on through. They don't expect that. They double back. Pancake spots him. Does he get the frag? Yes, he does. Great kill on to Yay. And a paranoia to follow after to, to slow it down. He knows exactly what DX that is going to be now as well. Well, DXN, good for the first. Boy, looking for a trade. It's Poach to send it back to a 3v3. Needed that one, and now it's up to Poach. Hunter Siri quickly oh. put away. It's now a 2v3, and with Seb taking a very, very long rotation, Poach, it's all on his shoulders. 14 oh bullets. My. He looks for a second frag. This could be massive from Poach, but it's not oh. the clutch. And Thank you, Fat Boy, keeping things close as well. That's all the info near and dear to him. TP in the back. His teammates are already here. It's Pancakes alongside him, but Keith Fatboy's getting it done by himself. Getting it done alone. Able to find three. Yeah, he will need to get this spike down, and there's a very, very late lurk. Seb coming through market, but yay, playing the time. Double updraft available if he wants to go over the, the boathouse, the controller house, if you will. He's not even aware of it, Tex. Able to capitalize on to seven oh. text again. On the top of A, and not only that, but the run it back is going to go early. Nice little flash, but again, Poach is trying to clear up as much space as possible while the run it back goes in. Nice fight coming in from Zep. Oh, oh my! Text you madman! Holding up with the Empress, going to be able to get two. Still pancakes with a frag back onto Poach, and the A site control that they were hoping for is gone. They could still get it, though. 
Equinox has abandoned the site and the lineup for Seb almost comes into fruition. Android 1v2, the neural network goes up. 55 seconds left. That's a whole time to actually act with, but he's actually going mid for this. No way. Spot a trip bar. No way, the trip bar, and he's gonna go down through it. Defenders win. So unfortunate, but it's.